Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on what is API and where it is used. Do you know friends that API stands for Application Programming Interface which is actually a set of protocols used to create application software. Practically speaking, APIs are the foundation of a lot of things that keep people linked online. APIs connect disparate systems to create one platform from apps on our phones to complex flight control systems. They build gateways to communicate with external systems and enable applications or IoT devices to access the data. Now before we learn more about what is an API and where it is used, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let's discuss our agenda first. We are going to start with what is an API. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss about how does API works. Then we are going to learn about the benefits of an API. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with discussion of uses of API. So let's start with what is API. An API or application programming interface is a collection of rules that allows various apps to communicate with one another. It serves an intermediary layer for data transfer across systems, allowing businesses to open their application data and functionality to third-party developers, business partners and internal departments inside their organizations. An API's definition and protocol assist businesses in connecting the many various applications they use in day-to-day -day operations, saving employee time and breaking down walls that impede cooperation and creativity. API documentation serves as an interface for communication between apps for developers, making application integration easier. I hope so guys, it's clear to you what is an API. Now we will learn about how does an API works. An easy approach to comprehend how APIs function is to consider a prevalent example, such as third-party payment processing. An e-commerce website may ask users to pay using PayPal or another third-party system when they make a purchase. The connection is made by this function using APIs. An API makes a request to get information when a customer clicks the payment button, also known as the call. The universal resource identifier or URI of an API is used to handle this request. When comes with a request verb, headers and occasionally a request body from an application to the web server. The API contacts the external software or web server in this case. The third party payment system after receiving a legitimate request from the product web page. The server replies to the API with the data that was requested. Then the API sends the data to the application that requested it first. In this case, the product website. The queries and responses are all handled by an API, even though the data transfer will be very based on web service being utilized. As APIs communicate data within the computer or program are not visible on the user interface. They appear to the user as a single seamless connection. I hope so guys, you are clear with that. How does an API works? Now, we will look into some of the benefits of using APIs. If I talk about the benefits of API, APIs makes it easier to integrate and manage the existing application and services as well as a design and develop the new ones. They do however provide developers and businesses as a whole with other advantages. There is an increased cooperation around 1200 cloud applications which are used by the average organization. APIs make integration possible allowing these platforms and apps to connect with one another without the interruption. Businesses may streamline procedures and enhance teamwork through this integration. Without APIs, a lot of businesses wouldn't be connected, which would lead to information silos that would harm productivity and performance. Next is, it helps in enhance innovation. With the flexibility that APIs provide, businesses can connect with new business partners, provide new services to their current market and ultimately access new markets that have potential to produce enormous profits and accelerate digital transformation. For instance, Stripe started out as an API with only 7 lines of code. Since then, the business has worked out with numerous of the largest corporations in the world and expanded to provide loans and corporate card and was recently valued at around USD $36 billion. That's a huge amount of money. The next benefits of using API is data monetization to attract developers to their brand and cultivate relationship with possible businesses partners. Many firms opt to provide APIs for free, at least initially. 
If the APIs allow access to priceless digital assets, the company can make money by charging for access. The API economy is used to describe this. In just 10 months after launching its self-service developer portal to sell a variety of API packages such as AccuWeather has attracted 24,000 developers and sold around 11,000 APIs, keys and established a flourishing community. Next, if I talk about its system security. APIs provides level of protection between the two when they communicate separating the infrastructure of the requesting application that forms that one of the answering service. For instance, API calls normally require authentication credentials. Further security during data exchange can be provided by HTTP headers, cookies or query strings. An API gateway can regulate access to further reduce the security risks. And finally, we have the end user privacy and security. APIs can give an additional layer of security for individual users in the same way that do for networks. The user has an option to accept or reject requests from websites for their location when they are made using a location API. When APIs ask for access to programs and their data, many web browsers and mobile operating systems like iOS have permission mechanism built in it. Permissions are used by file systems like Windows, Mac and Linux. Now let's discuss the uses of an API. APIs have emerged as a crucial component of contemporary commercial and personal apps due to the fact that they enable businesses to expand access to their resources while preserving security and control. Here are a few frequent uses of APIs that consumers see it virtually. The first one is universal logins. The ability to log into websites using one's Facebook, Twitter or Google's profile login information is a well-known API example. By using an API from one of the more well-known providers, this practical feature enables any website to quickly authenticate users, saving them the time and aggravation of having to create a new profile for each web application or new membership. The next use is at Internet of Things. Via APIs, these smart devices provide extra functionality including touchscreen, internet connectivity and data collection. For instance, a smart refrigerator may SMS messages to mobile phones or connect to recipe programs. Users can view the contents of the refrigerator from anywhere thanks to the internal cameras that connect to a variety of programs. The next use case is comparison of travel bookings. If I see this example, travel booking websites compile thousands of flights displaying at least expensive choices for each date and location. This service is made possible through APIs which give application users access to the most recent hotel and airline availability data via web browser or the travel agency's own application. APIs significantly minimize the time and effort required to search for available flights or lodging by enabling an independent interchange of data and request. And our final use case is Twitter. It would be a very popular example if I discuss of it. Every tweet has a timestamp, an author, a unique ID, a message and geographical metadata. These are the essential descriptive features. Developers have access to the fundamental features of public tweets and responses on Twitter and they may use company's API to post tweets on other websites. I hope so guys, it's clear to you what are the uses of an API. With that being said, I hope so guys, you would have enjoyed our today's video on what is API and what are the uses of it. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.